eventually I do want to upgrade it, but for the time being, this does the job. And I swear by it. Um, the L series compared to the like the standard cheaper 70 to 200, you will find a massive difference. Honestly, I don't know why. So how does um, it work it with is. Canon? There's EF, EF glass and then EFS glass, which is the crop stuff, I think. Um, so my old camera is a crop sensor. I could only put certain lenses, like those lenses I can't put on this one, yeah. but they will take the EF lenses on the crop sensor yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've bought, you've been clever and always bought the full frame right. lenses with if thinking that you might upgrade one. Yeah, yeah. because there was no point, because then you just have to yeah. set, turf it, sell it, whatever you want to do with it, and then repurchase. There's no point. Um, these are your the ones with the red rings are your top of the line ones, and I'll swear by them. Contrary to that, though, I do love my macro. Um, every single child portrait you see is shot with this. I swear by it through everything. Um, so what, what is that? What's it? Like focal length and f number? That's 100 mil. Um, goes down to 2.8. You could get the same version of this in the l series. I think it was like an extra $200. Um, I borrowed this from a friend before and I loved what it put out so I didn't see the point in. Yeah, um, eventually I might change it but for now I love it. It's got a little bit of weight in it um, but yeah it goes everywhere with me. 110%. That's what you'll get those beautiful bokeh backgrounds with this. Yeah. Um, what else have I got in here? The other little handy one is a 50mm. Uh, this is another prime. Prime lenses for portraits all the time. Love it. So prime means it doesn't zoom? It doesn't zoom. Yeah. You have it's a to fixed it focal length, you might have also heard me say. Um, this, these you can pick up for about $150. I had one, I had a two-year-old throw it. Oh. Didn't focus as well after that. <laughs> um, I didn't notice it straight away. It was a bit down the track, so I didn't bother getting the client to replace it. Um, I also didn't bother trying to fix it. I was like, I was buying another one. Um, they are really handy to have. Um, they're basically as close to what you will see from your eye. So I use it for portraits, but I also use it for landscapes. Not that I do a whole lot of those, but <laughs> they're handy to have. Um, the other one is your wide angle. So it's a 16 to 35. Um, I'll use this for weddings, um, for like your kind of family photos, um, and for the bigger shots where you've got the clouds and the sun setting, those type of things. I won't use this for kids' portraiture or family portraiture, anything like that, because wide angles don't do anybody any favours as such. Um, it's just not flattering. No. So it's definitely one for your landscapes. Um, I've got flashes, two of these. These are the Cactus brand. Um, one thing I will recommend, because it was said to me and I fully understand it now, if you're going to buy flashes, learn how to use it manually first. Um, these are all manual flashes because the last thing you want to be in a scenario is when your TTL dies and that's the only thing you know how to use. Um, so TTL through the lens, that's like the, the flash language talking to the camera. Yeah, yeah it basically does everything for you. Um, so I swear by that now. Um, and at home I've got one of the gin bars like what you've got upstairs, okay. which goes with me everywhere now. Um, it's handy. I do like my newborn photos for indoors. I'll have them next to a window, um, but sometimes you need that little bit of fill light, and that comes in really handy. Do you modify that with anything? Or um, I've got a big softbox on it, like a Octo. Um, I have used what are the other ones that? Do you use umbrella much with it? Mm. Oh, so this is like a softbox on it. Yeah. Um, right. Like I don't use umbrellas on them. Okay. No, just that. Um, I have found using other brands of big lights, I didn't like them as much. These tend to go down like your 128th power is a lot lower than other ones and that's what I mainly use it at. Um, so yeah, I love them. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much all of my gear. Uh, yeah. Is there any, sorry, no. might be a very personal question, but the weird stuff in the camera bag, like that's not necessarily camera related. 
I know, like, wedding photographers always have bobby pins and all, like, uh, wavy wipes. We usually wipes take and... lollies. Yeah? Um, especially at a wedding in the heat. You can sometimes become lightheaded at the big day. Um, obviously, you've always got water with you, but, yeah, lollies you'll usually find in here as well. Um, but that's about all, and a bunch of spare batteries, because the last thing you need is for something to die. Mm. So how many spare camera batteries do you have? On me at the moment, I'm talking crap by the sound of it, because I've got none. Um, okay. no, but no. usually I would have a full packet with me, just in case, because you've got your two flashes plus your triggers, you don't want any of them oh, to die. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, and camera batteries? Camera batteries, I always have a spare one. Yep, cool. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Cool. I have... A whole bunch of gels. Oh, tell us what they are. They, I don't use them very often, yeah. but I do enjoy them. Um, I do actually have a couple of. So is that like cellophane coloured material for your? Yeah, flat? so it goes over the top. Ah, and so your light becomes a red light. roll a gaff and gaff yes that comes everywhere as well take a branch back or parties <laughs> shopping <laughs> put um what is it tape down your newborn <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't think mum would be very happy with me oh, there we go nice little flip of red so that is that for creative effect or yeah so i'll show you I think I brought one, oh, there's a couple of photos on there actually. Cool. To have a little bit. Shut this away. And the roller bag over a backpack for sure. Yep, yeah. 100%. It um, is handy especially because I, I quite like going down to Melbourne. Um, like when we've done yeah. yep, the workshops and things down there. Yeah. Um, and it's so much handier to look like a tourist and part through the city rather than have something like that. Here. For the whole day because there's quite a bit of weight in it. And will that yeah, fit on a plane if it has to? Yep. In the overhead? Oh, uh, it will fit in there, it would go above your weight limit though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, if I took some of my stuff out, it'd be fine. Yeah, that's um, not an awful lot of stuff. Like, you know no. what I mean? Like, but, um, so does it have to go in the same luggage? Yeah, but it's all really well padded. Um, I wouldn't so be. Uh, when I went on my honeymoon, I took my um, my old camera with me because I did not want to take the good one. And I had that just in my overhead in a smaller bag. There we go. So that's with a gel. Get out. So, we, so what's the gel? What's the flash hitting? Um, so... Funnily enough, it is literally just our foil on the back wall, um, yeah, scrunched just, yeah. up yeah. and pulled back out um, cool. and got the red to make yeah. the effect of all the like the sparkly lights kind of effect. Um, under the table, I've got so that was on a table. Um, under the table, I have my flash with a gel on it, firing at the what did I say? The foil, which is on the wall. And then at the front, I've got an umbrella shooting at the perfume. Um, contrary to that, I did have somebody hold a I'm going blank for words. Yes, a reflector, but I had the black cover on it, um, so that so here's like your light. Apparently, looking at it, I've got the umbrella coming through here, but I've got the reflector blocking it so that that umbrella didn't hit the olive oil as well. Um, because once it does, it counters out your gel. Mm. That's cool. So you need to block it. Yeah. Um, the other gel one I've done is... So cool. I had a lot of fun with that, just for something different. Yeah. So, Alex, you didn't buy all this gear at once. No. It was a gradual thing? Yeah, so over time. So what was the thing you absolutely had to have first? A camera. camera. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um... Absolutely. First, I wanted a macro lens. Yeah, um, so that I, 100 2A? 
was yep. the first lens you bought? I bought, yeah. Yep. Um, and then I got the 70-200 and the 50mm. Um, my first camera came with like a little kit lens, um, which did the job in theory. But yeah, that was definitely the first one I went out and purchased. Um, but this one's done with gels as well. Not quite as effective as the other. Um, but still, it was a, just for fun to play around with. So that's just shot on my glass table at home, um, which is reflected in it. And then you've got two gels firing at the back wall and a snoot over the top to light up the actual cake, which tasted really good. That is cool. Questions, folks, about gear? You've got a tripod also. Yep. Um, I don't use it very often. Okay. I'll use it if I do something in HDR, um, but that's about it. Or if I'm in really low light where it needs to be steady. I can shoot about 1 over 30 before I then get the shakes. Um, I need a tripod. No, yeah. Limit there. Yeah. Cool. Um, but otherwise, I don't tend to use them. All right. Well, I mean, look, we're travelling well on time. I said at quarter to eleven we start studio setup. Yep. Ah, uh, how are you feeling about that? Yep. Good. Sounds good. You guys.